Good morning, friends. I am so excited to be here learning with you today. I love that we get to spend a little bit of time together each morning learning. So let's get started by singing our good morning song. If you're ready to sing our good morning song, give me some thumbs up. Excellent. All right, let me hear your beautiful singing voices. Good morning, little sprouts. How are you? Good, good. Good morning, little sprouts. How are you? Good, good. It is time to start our day. We will learn and work and play. Good morning, little sprouts. How are you? Good, good. All right, let's look at our brothers and sisters and mummies and daddies and say good morning. Awesome. And we're gonna say good morning to Mr. Sean because he comes to help me. And we're gonna say good morning to Theo for coming to school with his mom today, with me. And then we're gonna say good morning to me, Miss Tracy. Good morning, friends. So every day we talk about how we're feeling and today is no different. I want to know how you're feeling today. Can you tell me how you are feeling today? Those are some really good feelings. Do you remember talking about our colors? If we're feeling green or blue or yellow or red, can you tell me how you are feeling in one of those colors? Good job. So today, I'm feeling pretty green. Last week and even yesterday and the day before, I was feeling green with a little bit of yellow or maybe a little bit of blue, but today I'm feeling pretty green. So if you are feeling pretty good, pretty green too, can I get some thumbs up? Excellent. We need to figure out what day it is today. So do you think we could sing our song together? I need to hear your beautiful, loud singing voices. So make sure you get them ready. All right, let's get out our two fingers and our five fingers just like this. There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in a week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Oh, you guys did an excellent job singing today, but I'd like to sing it in French. So let's get out our two fingers and our five fingers again so that we can sing it in French. Are you ready? There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in a week. Dimanche, lundi, mardi, mercredi, jeudi, vendredi, samedi. Awesome. So yesterday I can see it was wa wa Wednesday. So what would that mean today is? Today would be th th Thursday. Today is Thursday, today is Thursday, today is Thursday, and we're going to have some fun. Are we gonna have some fun today? Yeah, I think we are. So I need to go all the way down there and do some counting. Are you gonna come with me? Perfect, let's grab my pointer and off we go. So we're gonna put Thursday, in the calendar along with the marker that says today. And then we're gonna start counting right here. What number is that? Is that number one? One, two. <gasps> is today number two? That is such a small number compared to what we counted earlier in the week, hey? All right, so let's write out our date. So who remembers what day of the week it is. It's th, th, Thursday. Hmm, is it still March or is it April with the rain? It's April. And then what is the small number we counted to today? It's number two. So we are gonna say, today is Thursday, April 2. Good job with your help with the date. Now, April is supposed to be all about rain, but 
Doesn't look like rain out there, does it? So let's sing our weather song. What's the weather? What's the weather? What's the weather, everyone? Is it snowy? Is it cloudy? Is there rain or is there sun? So if you use your looking eyes to look outside at the weather, what weather do you see outside your window? Those are some good descriptions of the weather. I'm looking outside and it does not look very nice at all today. It looks pretty miserable. So I'm gonna put up the clouds and I'm gonna put up the snow. And I really want the weather panda to stay warm today. Because nobody likes being cold. I don't like being cold. Do you like being cold? No, I didn't think so. It's no fun being cold. I think he should wear his toque today. I almost wore my toque. I probably should have to keep my head warm. All right. And we're going to put his mitts on. Perfect. And I don't have extra Velcro. Oh, I don't even have his scarf. Uh-oh. I'm going to have to find the Weather Panda scarf, I think, because it's pretty cold. I'll have to find that for tomorrow. All right. So we figured out the date, we figured out the weather, the panda is nice and cozy. Are we ready to listen to a story today? Excellent. So can you show me how we sit when we're listening to a story at preschool? Remember, we sit crisscross applesauce. We turn our listening ears on, we keep our mouths quiet, we look at Miss Tracy, and we put our hands in our lap. Are you doing those things at home? Amazing. All right. Are we ready to read my story? I'm a good listener. Read me a book. My hands are in my lap and at Miss Tracy I look. When she sees I'm ready, she will say, here is the story I have for you today. So what is on the cover of my storybook today? There's a bunch of different kinds of seeds. Let's count them. How many? One, two, three, four, five. My book is called Five Tough and Tiny Seeds. Now, this book is written a little bit like a song, so I may end up singing this book. Will you sing it with me? All right, are we ready? Can you get out your five fingers? Five tough and tiny seeds sat on a slender reed, waiting for springtime winds to blow. Whoosh, whoosh. Can you go like that? Can you go whoosh, whoosh? Are they sitting there? One landed on the ground, sniffed by a happy hound. Then there were four tough tiny seeds. So let's count them. One, two, three, four. So now you need four fingers. Four tough and tiny seeds sat on a slender reed, waiting for springtime winds to blow. Whoosh, whoosh. One landed near a lake beside a wriggly snake. <gasps> then there were three tough tiny seeds. <laughs> One, two, three. So get out your three fingers. Three tough and tiny seeds sat on a slender reed waiting for springtime winds to blow. Whoosh, whoosh. One landed near a tree buzzed by a bumblebee. Then there were two tough tiny seeds. Can you count them? One, two. Are they hanging on tight? Yeah. Two tough and tiny seeds sat on a slender reed, waiting for springtime winds to blow. Whoosh, whoosh. 
One landed by a road next to a slimy toad. Then there was one tough tiny seed. Uh-oh, only one left. One tough and tiny seed sat on a slender reed, waiting for springtime winds to blow. Whoosh, whoosh. It landed on a rock close to a watchful hawk. Then there were no tough tiny seeds. Uh-oh, they all blew away. Five tough and tiny seeds blown from a slender reed. Raindrops are falling from the sky. Drip, drop. Can you go like that? Drip, drop. With bright and warmer days, now comes the month of May. Now it's the time for seeds to grow. So remember, we talked about how April it rains. And then in May, flowers and seeds grow. So it's not May yet. It's only April, but... It's still a good book. Five seeds begin to sprout just as the sun comes out. What will they all turn out to be? What do you think they're gonna turn out to be? Hmm. Growing, <laughs> growing taller by the hour, each one a different flower. So this one is a rose. This one's a dandelion. This one's a sunflower. This one's called a cosmos. And this one's called a wild carrot. That's what became a five tough tiny seeds. I lost my tune there, but that's okay. We still got the book. So there was lots of different seeds. So one grew into a rose. One grew into a dandelion. One grew into a sunflower. One grew into a cosmos. And one grew into a wild carrot. So, do you think we can guess which one was the dandelion Liz, and which one was Liz. the sunflower? Hi! Oh, an airplane. Excellent. Well, let's talk about what your art is going to be today. Did you make another bracelet? Oh, it's beautiful. Today, we are going to make a dandelion. So... In your art kit that I sent home, you will have a small piece of paper and a Q-tip. You can use your finger, but I know some of my friends don't like using their fingers, so we can use our Q-tip. So, you can get paint or markers, your choice. I got a little bit of paint. I got some pink, purple, and yellow paint that I'm going to use. But our first job is to draw what the base of a dandelion looks like. So we're gonna draw not the yellow flower. We are going to draw the seed part. You know when it first kind of blooms and all the seeds are on the top and it actually looks a little bit pretty? We're gonna draw that. So your job is going to be to start at the top because we always start at the top and we're gonna draw a stem down. You can use a crayon or a marker or a pencil, your choice. And then right here on the top of your line, you're going to draw a bunch of lines out. And they can be all different sizes, long, short, all over. And then you're going to draw little dots on the end of each line that you draw. So step one was drawing the stem from the middle of the paper down. Step two was drawing all the little lines. And step three was drawing the dots on the end of the lines. So that's the basis for our dandelion. And then we are going to paint our dandelion. So we are going to take our Q-tip or your finger. If you're using your finger, you can color the end of it to stamp, or you can use paint and dip your finger in. But I'm gonna use the Q-tip. And you're just going to make little dots all over. Now, are we gonna use a lot of paint? Or are we gonna use 
just a little bit of paint. We're gonna use just a little bit of paint. You don't need to goob it on, but we're gonna use just a little bit to get lots of dots around our beautiful picture. So what colors did I decide to use today? I used pink and purple, and then I'm gonna to switch to the other side of my Q-tip, and I'm gonna use what color? What color is this? Yeah, it's yellow. All right, I think my picture is just about done. And so I'm gonna put this down so I don't make a big mess. And you can look at my dandelion picture. Oh, but I forgot, what did I forget to do? Who knows what I forgot to do? I always forget to write my name on my art. All right, so there is my dandelion picture. And I'm gonna put this up in the window. So if you have time, I'd like you to put your dandelion up in the window and maybe have mommy or daddy take a picture and post it on Class Dojo or the Facebook group so that I can see what your dandelion looks like with all its beautiful colors. Good job, friends. So that was a great craft for us using our fine motor skills because you have to pinch the Q-tip or you have to use your finger to dip and paint. I really like doing that one. I can't wait to see what you guys do. All right, so we are gonna do some of our phonics today. We're gonna do an extra letter. We're gonna do C and K. So we have done S, A, T, I, P, N, and today we're gonna add C and K. So it's two letters, but they make the same K sound. And we go like this when we're making that sound. So, S, A, T, T, I, P, N, and then K. All right, are we ready? So our first letter is S. So the snake is in the grass. So get out your snake. The snake is in the grass. The snake is in the grass. S -s -s -s. The snake is in the grass. And then our ants are on our arms. So get your ants. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ants on my arm. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ants on my arm. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ants on my arm. They're causing me alarm. All right, now we're gonna go to the Tennis game. T -t -t -t. When I watch the tennis game, t -t 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 -t. when I watch the tennis game, my head goes back and forth. And then our eye. So remember, our whiskers are i i. Inky the mouse is my pet. She spilled the ink and got wet. The ink it spread all over the desk. I i i. Inky is wet. All right, what's this letter? It's P for P. So remember, we're gonna go P, P for puffing out the candles. Are you ready? Puff out the candles on the pink pig cake. P, 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 P. Puff out the candles on the pink pig cake. Puff, puff, puff. Good job. And then our airplane for N. So remember, your tongue is going to touch the top of the roof of your mouth. N. And you're going to go, N. Let me hear you. Good job. Ready? Hear the airplane. N. Hear the airplane. N. Hear the airplane. N. Making lots of noise. All right. And then our new one is C and K. So we are going to be clicking castanets. K, k, k. Let me hear you make the k sound. Good job. And then for C, we're, we're clicking castanets. And then kites are flying. 
All right, are you ready? We are clicking castanets. K -k -k. We are clicking castanets. K -k -k. We are clicking castanets. Clicking castanets. We are clicking castanets. K -k -k. Kites are flying in the sky. K -k -k. Kites are flying in the sky. K -k -k. Kites are flying in the sky. Flying in the sky. Kites are flying in the sky. K -k -k. <laughs> Good job. So next time we're going to start practicing our eh for eggs in the pan and then our for hopping. All right. Our activities for today that I planned out for us are to play with Play-Doh. So the Play-Doh that I gave you, you can squish it all up. And you can make something. You can use the little pieces that came in your packages to make flowers. There's some pipe cleaners and some straws. Um, and then we can do some dry erase practice. So we can practice writing our lines and our squiggly lines as well. All right, so let's get out the magic box so we can do the magic box. So I've got lots of really great questions today. So Bella wants to know, is it soft? Okay, Bella, part of it is soft and part of it is hard. It's a tricky one. Colton and Aubrey want to know what color it is. So it's kind of tan colored and then there's some white on it. Yeah, it's tan colored and there's a little bit of white on it. Cooper wants to know what sound does it make? If it made a sound, it would do a lot of talking. I, I feel like it would do a lot of talking. So it's hard and soft. It's tan and white. And if it made any sounds, it would do a lot of talking. Logan wants to know, does it have wheels? No, it does not have wheels. This one does not have wheels. So it's hard and soft. It's tan colored with a little bit of white on it. If it made a sound, it would do a lot of talking and it does not have wheels. Where would it live? It would live in a really big house, probably about three stories with a motor home and a pink sports car. Hmm, that one's a little tough. It's hard and soft. It's tan colored with white. If it made a sound, it would talk a lot. It does not have wheels and it would live in a big house, probably three stories with a motor home and a pink sports car. Are you thinking? Are you thinking really hard about what it could be? I bet some of you know exactly what it is. Ben wants to know what would it do if it was alive? It could do a lot of things. So sometimes it could be a doctor. Sometimes it could be a veterinarian. Sometimes it would just drive around in its pink sports car. Sometimes it might just cook. It might wear fancy dresses. <laughs> I bet you've all figured out exactly what it is. So it's hard and it's soft. It's tan colored with some white. If it made a sound, it would do a lot of talking. It does not have wheels. It would live in a big house with a motor home and a pink sports car. And if it was alive, it could do lots of different things. Pretty much anything you can think of, it would probably do. But it could be a doctor. It could be a veterinarian. It could wear fancy ball gowns. Lots of things. All right. Do you know what's inside my magic box today? Let me hear you if you have a guess as to what's inside my magic box. Those are some really good guesses. Let's have a look. Let's see if you were right. If you guessed that there was a Barbie doll in my magic box, you were right. So she's hard, but she also has really soft hair. It's also really messy. But she's wearing a white dress today. 
And she has a pink sports car at preschool and a really big house. So if you guessed Barbie, you were right. Or a doll, really, you were right. Thank you so much for playing with me today. I had so much fun with you and I can't wait till tomorrow. So let's get out our working hands. Are you ready? All day long we worked and played, worked and played, worked and played. All day long we worked and played, and now our day is done. Wave goodbye to all your friends, all your friends, all your friends. Wave goodbye to all your friends until we meet again. Bye for now. See you tomorrow.